Hey guys, my name's Tammy and I do instrumentals and covers. I recently did a cover on Love Maze. I got a request from Shaden Al to share the chords. It's not too hard. Don't stress. It's not too hard. Hey guys, this is a weird angle, I know, but you can see my left hand and you can see my right hand. Your frets always where your capo starts, so capo, uh, fret 1, fret 2, fret 3, so on. Even if your capo is all the way up here, this would be fret 1, fret 2, fret 3. If you don't have a capo at all, obviously this is fret 1, fret 2, fret 3, and so on. I'm just having it here so you can see it in frame. String-wise, I will be referring to them as 1st, 2nd, 3rd from the bottom, 1st, 2nd, 3rd from the top. Alrighty, so Love Maze has two sections I would say of the chords. There are two fingers however that you keep on these two strings and two frets for the entire song no matter what the chord is you'll always be playing them so as long as you have those there then you've got most of the chord down. That is your middle finger on your left hand on the second fret one two on the third string from the bottom so one two three middle finger right there. So that note then you have the second finger that stays on for the entire song. First fret, second fret, third fret. Your ring finger, second string from the bottom. So those two notes together. Now these are played for the entire song, so just keep them there forever. Um, now your right hand, the general place where your right hand will sit throughout the entire song is this. So you have your ring finger on your right hand on the second string from the bottom, so one, two. Then your middle finger will be just the string above it, index finger, string above it, thumb, string above it. Now, the thumb does change, but for now, that's where the general position your right hand will be. Okay, now moving on to the first section of Love Maze. So the first chord of Love Maze for the first section is these two stay here all the time. Your index finger of your left hand goes on the second fret first, second fret, second string from the top. This one here. Um, your right hand is just where it was before and what I do is I usually pluck all four at the same time by pushing my three fingers and my thumb together. So like this and then out. That's how I do my plucks. Just whatever is comfortable for you to be honest. So that's the first chord. Second chord, release your index finger of your left hand and strum the same or pluck the same on your right hand. So you have your first chord, second chord. Alrighty, now your third chord. Same on your left hand this time, but what's changing is you're not plucking with your thumb. Just these three fingers. So, so you have your first chord, second chord, third chord, remove your thumb from your right hand. Okay, now you have your fourth chord moving from there. It's a bit weird, now your left hand's thumb comes out and plays 3rd fret, 1st fret, 2nd fret, 3rd fret, top string. Same with your right hand, because now you've got this thumb here, that's the note you want to play, you move your thumb on your right hand to the upper string. The rest of your fingers stay where they are. Alrighty, so that's the 4th chord of the 1st section of Love Maze. You just pluck that. So separately. your first chord again second chord third chord fourth chord alrighty so in rhythm it goes one two three four one two three four so once again one two three section of the chords. Alright, let's move on to the second section of Love Maze. 
Now you still have those two fingers that stay there the whole time. Okay, so the first chord of section two, index finger, second fret, one, two, second string. This is where it gets different from section one. So in section two, second chord is index finger moves down one fret. Right hand still plucks the same. So that's second chord. So first chord of section two, second chord of section two. Now your third chord, release that index finger on your left hand. Keep your right hand where it is. That's the third chord. So now you have first chord, second chord, third chord. Fourth chord is now you don't pluck with your right hand's thumb, just the three fingers. So now you have first chord, second chord, third chord, fourth chord. Next chord is that weird thumb chord again. Um, your thumb goes on your third fret, top string, and your right hand thumb moves up from that string here to the top string. So that's your fifth chord. Once again, love may section two chords: first chord, second chord, third chord, fourth chord. So the rhythm of section two is a bit different from section one. It goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So they're right after another, those chords there. Once again, section two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So section one, let's review section one again. Chord one, chord two. Three, chord four, and then you go on to section two. First chord, second chord, third chord, fourth chord, fifth chord. Now, all that in rhythm, let's go really slowly. One, two, three, four. So that's basically the chords for Love Maze. They repeat over and over again throughout the entire song. You can kind of get fancy with the way you pluck on your right hand. So what I did for my cover was to up to rhythm. So yeah, those are the chords for Love Maze. So if we go review. Alrighty, thank you for watching guys.